Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to my Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. All right, so let's go back to the comic books here. We're going to go talk about Star Wars Tales 14, and this one's called Tides of Terror, written by David Land. Basically, A.S. Secure and Kit Fisto are on the planet Camino investigating uh, some clones who died because of a mysterious infection. Hmm, methinks Skullduggery is afoot, and the Jedi must figure out who it is. Now, remember, it's a tale story, so... I basically just gave away half the plot right there. <laughs> uh, but this one actually lands on the not-so-bad uh, angle. Uh, I actually just reread it, and it was actually pretty good. Uh, so not that bad. Uh, but that's not the point of today's topic. Today I want to talk about the uh, Hasbro uh, mini-books that came with their games, uh, toys, excuse me. And these three little Hasbro children's novels, in effect, basically came with huge author's names attached to it. The first one we're going to talk about is Jude Watson, Stormfleet Warnings. Now, this one's about Obi-Wan and Anakin uh, encountering a separatist of the uh, Stormfleet army. Is this on par with Jude Watson's other stuff? No, not really. But uh, it's, it's an enjoyable read. I mean, I saw the name Jude Watson, I thought, yeah, you know, that, that shouldn't be that bad. I mean, I know it's in the kitty book, you know, and whatnot form, but it should be pretty good. Eh, it was all right. Uh, one that was a little better was a short story called Equipment by Matthew Stover. Basically, uh, talking about the clone motto, uh, take care of your equipment and your equipment takes care of you. Uh, that was actually a pretty good story. As a short stories go, it was pretty good. And then uh, finally, the last one's written by Timothy Zong called Duel. And basically, it's featuring Yoda uh, and you know his fight with someone a after a battle. All three of those stories are very short just because you're thinking, whoa, Timothy Zong wrote this? Why is it in you know, hardback form? It's just a few pages long, folks, and nothing really happens. In fact, Duel wasn't that good, to be honest. Uh, it, I mean, it's okay. But this is the thing. Star Wars fiction was everywhere. You're thinking, oh man, it's impossible uh, to collect everything. No, it's not. These things are easily available to read or they're collected in trades or, you know, in uh, online or whatnot. They're everywhere. But the simple fact that Hasbro and Scholastic teamed up and said, let's let's look, who are the who are the biggest authors out there right now? Stover, Zahn, Watson, you know, they all were writing actively. Uh, for the Star Wars universe, they said, yeah, those are the people who are going to write our short story. At least these carry some big names, you know, the Hasbro shelled out a little bit of money and brought some quality to the short stories. Uh, outside of Stover's, though, I don't know if the other two were that good. I, it's been a while since I've reread them. I kind of flipped through them right before doing the video. But, you know, I mean, they're definitely skippable, you know, definitely skippable. Don't think, oh, no, Timothy Zahn, I, it's, it's a must if it's Timothy Zahn. Duel is not a must. <laughs> but still, a valiant effort by Hasbro, and I appreciate it because, hey, more EU back in the day was always a good thing. All right, folks, I'll see you next week.